Hello and welcome to a new episode of Photo TV News. It's been a while since we talked to you last and in the meanwhile a sad thing has happened. Larry Sultan has died. For those of you who don't know who Larry Sultan is, Larry Sultan is a photographer from the United States and um, he's been documenting the West Coast lifestyle, more um, precisely the lifestyle of um, the area around Hollywood. And um, he's always been interested in taking a behind-the-scenes look. As you know, this is the area of, of Hollywood and everything seems to be scenes. And um, one of the, the scenes he's been looking behind has been the production of X-rated uh, movies. This is maybe his most famous work called The Valley. And um, it's always very interesting to see how Larry Sultan has taken that, that look behind the scenes. And um, it is very, very sad that he has passed away. In fact, I had asked at Paris Photo last uh, year, just a few months ago, to do an interview with him. At that time, he was very sick already and couldn't do it. And um, now this, this great photographer has passed away. Um, on to something more, uh, more positive. You know, the analog uh, materials that we've been using for photography for many years have become a very rare thing. Many, many papers have vanished, many films have vanished, chemicals are not as easily available anymore. And while this is happening, the analog print becomes more and more um, valuable in a sense, because they have this uh, touch of a unique thing. You can print as many copies of a, of a digital photo as you want, but an analog copy, there's always things that change a little bit. If you're interested in that and if you're interested of getting um, a unique print uh, with a very special subject, which is you, yourself, and if you plan to go to Berlin in the next future, then we have found something very special for you, which we're going to show you in a little film right now. As you know, Berlin is one of the most happening cities in the world at the moment, so you are very likely to maybe plan a trip to here. And if you do, and if you're really interested in photography, we have a, a really special thing to show you. Next to me is Susanna Kraus, the lady who is responsible to operate this big, big thing behind us. Susanna, tell us about what is this? Yeah, this is um, the only self-portrait camera in the world, which makes one-by-one -one portraits immediately which make Unicat photography. This is the Imago one by one. She's made in the, it is made in the 70s, beginning of the 70s, but uh, working only 10 years because it works with a special paper, with a Unicat paper. Uh, the light goes direct on the paper, not on a negative. Mm -hmm. And so this paper was gone in the beginning of the 80s. And uh, now, uh, since three years, I pushed up this whole project and this whole paper again on the market and Ilford and Harman they make it for me this paper now and now it works in three years again and I toured you met me on the Fotokina 2008 in Cologne and now since three months I have a studio here in Berlin and I would like to stay here in Berlin with this project because I think this would be nice if everybody in the world knows if I pass through Berlin and a lot of people pass through Berlin uh, you can make here your own self-portrait and so I'm here in the studio in the middle of Berlin yeah. Um, for those of you who, who, who haven't seen our film um, about the Imago camera, let me explain to you quickly, because I did a self-portrait myself in there. It's a big room, you go in there, you keep the trigger in your hand, and you expose the picture yourself, and directly on photo paper, as you can see there um, on our right. And behind what you see here is another chamber in which you then feed this paper into a developer, yes. so people get their print right away. That's it. This is only one print you do, and you do it really with your own. With, you have a mirror, a side right mirror mm -hmm. in the camera, which shows you um, as you are never able to see yourself. The photographer sees you like that. Mm -hmm. So you are the photographer and the subject in one person. And this is a very special thing. 
and you can close this door. You can go alone, two, three families. You can go up to 10 people we had in this camera on one picture, 60 to two meters. Mm -hmm. Really, we had it. And I think they are in, in the internet on, on, on my page. Yeah, on my website. Uh, these photos are inside. And then you have the decision on the second when you want to make your, your photo. And after 10 minutes, I de develop it immediately inside there. There's an old machine, a developing machine mm -hmm. for black and white. And I cut it, I put it in the machine, and after 10 minutes it's ready and you can see it, you can show it. You so not only is there only one camera like this in the world, but also each print that comes out of it is unique. It's on real photo paper. Um, it's not. There's no digital no. stuff in there. No. So no. it's really photography as it's as it has been meant to be yeah. for the last hundreds of years or 100 years. Yeah. So um, really an experience to to see. Well, one more word. What was it constructed for in the initially? Ah, it was always constru constructed for um, for people coming to make their own self-portrait, but my father developed this thing in in a science way because he worked for Daimler-Benz and he had to make photos one by one burning in the motor of the Wankel motor mm -hmm. that he did. And there he, he, he made an optic, which is possible um, to make one by one photography, which is very difficult because Polaroid tried it also in the 70s and they didn't got they only got 50 60 i think and um yeah and then they thought um, friends they thought okay not only this uh, motor things to 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 make photos from this motor things why we don't make a box where people can go in and can make their own portrait by themselves and that was the idea and then both they built it this is a, a, a an artist Erhard Hösle and my father mm -hmm. Werner Kraus. They built it since um, during two years and uh, 72 it was ready and then it really goes from one exhibition to the other for 10 years. Up to this point the paper was gone. Hmm. So, so uh, Susanna actually made a big effort to get the paper back and um, so th this is what makes it possible for you to come here to Berlin to get this, this, this picture of yourself. How much does it cost? It costs 290 mm -hmm. euros. If you make your, your picture here, yeah. So, affordable uh, by any means. And uh, once again, a really unique thing um, to have because uh, I, I shot one of those pictures myself. It's sitting in my, my living room now and uh, <laughs> it has a certain touch to it. Huh? Yeah. yeah, because it's a play between sharp and unsharp, between extreme light and shadow. This is, yeah, this is another view to, to people. It's not like digital where everything is really in the focus behind and in front. There you only have a very small focus and this is another, another view. It, is, it only looks inside the person. It gives a view to, to you. Okay, so rediscover yourself at the Camera Imago. Find more details on the website. If one wants to have a picture, they can contact you through the yes. website and yes. uh, schedule an appointment. Camera minus Imago, but camera with C. Yeah. Camera minus Imago.com. Okay, so uh, an idea for your next Berlin trip. Thank you, uh, Susanna, for this, and Thank good you, luck. Mark. Thank you, Mark, <laughs> for coming. So, an interesting discovery right there in the middle of Berlin. And discoveries are probably the topic that I would give to the whole show today because we have a few more of those for you. The next one being an interesting product for those of you interested in flash photography. I've had the possibility to invite an expert about this topic, Michael Kruck from the Visual Pursuit Studios, here to the Photo TV studios a few days ago, and uh, we're going to show you what he brought for you. If you're regular viewers of our program, you might have noticed a whole bunch of films on strobist photography. What is strobist photography? The basic idea there is you take the flash off the camera and fire it from a distance, and that gives you a lot of creativity in how you take pictures. Now, the one question that comes up if you take the flash off, how do you trigger it across a distance? And that question I'm going to ask to Michael Quack today, who has joined me in the studio. Michael is owner um, and photographer. He's your owner of the Visual Pursuit Studios in Düsseldorf. Yes. And you've done some far long distance shopping for us. Yes. Um, I brought you um, a trigger system, radio control trigger system, 2.4 gigahertz. And um, this doubles also as a camera trigger. It's dead cheap. It's like um, 30 euros, like 45 dollars um, a set. 